AJ Simmons here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, proposal for a cleaning contract. So, uh, Miss Therese Covington, shout out to her, she just went to a walkthrough, and it was for an apartment complex, and so it kind of caught her off guard because she's new in the business, and uh, they asked her not only to provide a quote for the move and move out, which she was prepared for with the apartments, but they also wanted a quote for their common areas um, for their clubhouse area, okay? So I'm gonna show you with our new proposal generator how to come up with the proposal for that. So if you just click the middle button, it says proposal. All right, so proposal beta. So I'm gonna use the office uh, proposal template for this one. So here, all you would do is you would just come here, fill out the name of the property. So let's just say uh, test apartments. Then you can put the point of contact's name here. And notice that I put the uh, name of the company in all caps, okay? Because when it shows up on the proposal, you want it to be in all caps, and you'll see why later when it comes through. All right, so we'll just put his name as Harry Brown. All right. I'm sorry. See, I can't even do my own thing. Take that off. There we go. Now, put their, uh, point, the point of contact email address here. If you don't know that, I mean, excuse me, if you don't want to send the proposal right away and you want to send yourself a copy of the, um, of the proposal so you can see what it looks like before you send it out to them, you can put your email address there. So that's what I'm going to do. You can put their phone number here just for tracking purposes. Okay. So we're just going to put that there. Then you will put the prospect's company logo, okay? So you will look for their company logo. So if you don't have their company logo, and notice that it says you want 500 by 500, okay? So all you will simply do is Google the apartment's name. So I don't, let's just think of a generic company. Uh, we'll say Walmart logo 500 by 500, okay? Go to images. And then you just look for one that's 500 by 500, all right? Now, if you were on a, a computer, you will be able to click it and see uh, if it was actually 500 by 500. But I can see right here in the description of this one, it says it's 500 by 500. So we're going to download or screenshot this one. Actually, it's kind of blurry. I'm going to screenshot this one. All right. And save that. And go back to it. Upload that picture. And click that upload button. Now you can see the upload is complete. Then what I would do is come down here. And so for this particular area, all of these things that we're going to highlight includes the uh, common area that she's going to clean. All right. So let's just say they want the office done. So we'll put each service for each one of these. All right, high dust will probably do maybe weekly. Dust blinds may be weekly. Spot cleans walls weekly. Dust baseboards monthly. Spot clean windows, each service, all right? Do the same thing for the restrooms. All right, so now you would notice that since uh, she said that she didn't have the square footage, okay, when she sent me this message, she didn't have the, she didn't have the square footage for this account, and she also don't, doesn't know the frequency, but she does know that they have four, four restrooms, they have one laundry room, they have a workout room, a computer room, and a lunch room, okay? So what I'm going to do is all of those things that she just named, the workout room, the computer room, and lunch room, they will actually the lunch room will fall under this cafeteria break room section here. And then the other areas will fall under common areas over there to your far right. OK, so all of the areas are covered that she mentioned. Then when it comes to frequency, what she can do is just assume as the professional, you can tell the customer what you will recommend to them for their frequency. OK, so when I ask you how many days per week will the facility be clean? 
you can click here and then you can go to one okay and give them a quote for one day per week all right so let's just say you're going to come every wednesday all right and then you want to charge them uh, let's just say 300 a month for that one visit every month okay now under additional pricing terms here you can do uh, two different things number one you can offer them uh, additional pricing options okay so you can say okay if you want us to come two times a week it'll be 600 okay so uh, twice per week and then if you want us to come three times a week it'll be let's just say a thousand All right, and then you also can say uh, apartment move out And then you can put below, uh, let's say $90 for one bed. We'll say $120 for two bed. And $150 for three bed. All right. And now I'm just putting like random numbers here. Do not follow this to the T. Uh, but I just want this. I'm mainly trying to show you how to do the proposal. Okay. So next we're going to go over the email template. Okay. So this is what the email will say to your uh, point of contact for this particular uh, proposal when you email them. So let's just click here and you can add it here. And if you want to make it bit bigger, you can click that little spam button in your right hand corner of this box. So I'm going to click here. Okay, and now it's bigger. Okay, so you can just kind of scroll up and see what it says. So it just says, it was a pleasure to meet with you. Thank you for allowing us the time to come by. So you can leave that there or you can change it and then just make sure that you come down to the bottom and actually put your name, your title, your company, and your phone number. Okay, I'm not going to do it for the sake of this. So I'm going to X this out. And again, that's how you get out. You just click that X in the right hand corner and that's how you would get out of this part. Then you want to go over your sales page information. So you click the expand button again, scroll up, and you can leave any of this information here or you can delete it. All right. And then this is where you actually edit your terms of service and agreement. So you can expand that. Come here and put your company name here anywhere where it says put your company name. You can change different line items on this proposal. Okay. You can say who the uh, supplies and everything will be provided by. Make sure you put the total cost of each service. If you're going to go with the one that was above that we put for the uh, once per week charge. All right. So we'll put $300 here. X that out. And then you can fill in your name here. your company name, your phone number, your email address, and then you want to put your logo. Now notice for your logo, it says for the best results, make sure that you have 300 by 150 pixel uh, picture uploaded, okay? Now if you don't have uh, a picture that is for your logo that's within those uh, pixel ranges, what you can do is you can download an app called Canva, or you can go to canva.com if you're using a desktop. I'm using a phone right now for this example. And you can just resize the picture in canva.com and it's free. Okay, so we're going to click here and I'm going to upload a picture. All right, and then you click submit. Now, once you click submit, if you need to change anything, that's why I told you that you can put your email address where they ask for the customer's email address because you can always click the back button. So if you just click back, and you'll notice most of your information is still here. The only thing that goes away is the picture. So you have to re-upload the images if you want to change anything. So once you get a test copy sent to your email, you will come back here and change this email address to your customer's email address once if you get a copy and you think everything is okay. Or you can just download that PDF copy that was sent to your email and manually attach it to a new email and email it to your customer that way as well. All right. So now we're going to preview what the 
uh, proposal came out looking like and we'll check that out okay so now that we're in my email you can see that this what it is what it would have looked like once you sent the email to the customer with the proposal attached as you can see i never did did finish entering my title my company and all of that at the bottom so it only put just my name because that's what i entered and that's what it looks like okay now if you click the attachment you can see what the proposal actually came out as All right, so you can see the logo came out here at the top. So uh, obviously I took a screenshot of it looking like this. So that's why that logo came out looking like that. And if you come down, notice I also when I put test apartments in all caps, that's why I told you to put it in all caps, just so that can be a nice uh, header, okay? Scroll down to this next sales page. You can see that the logo that I put was slightly too big. So it caused the text to run over to the next page. That's why I tell you guys to try to follow those pixel guidelines that they provided. Or you can just delete some of this text out here on out of this sales page part, okay? So this is also why you always want to put your email address first instead of the customer's email address. So you can see, get a test copy of this proposal and see how it'll look first before you send it. Keep scrolling down. Here's the pricing information page on page four. All right, you can see it has all of the different details that we added. And then you come down to the scope of work section. You can see the scope of work is listed here. And then they have the agreement page okay so this is how i would go about putting together a proposal for this particular uh contract uh that miss trees was asking about as well as any other contract okay if you have any other questions make sure you just drop them in the uh, comments of this video and this uh, this proposal is available in the Cl calculated clean app and it's also available at the calculatedclean.com for those of you who have iphone because we still don't have the, the uh, app on iphone just yet all right uh, right now, this, this service is, is completely free. Eventually, it will probably charge $1 per proposal. But for now, it's 100% free. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.